Hi, I'm Jared Chester with the Bex PFR team, and today we're in Louisville, Kentucky at the National Farm Machinery Show to check out the latest and greatest in farming. Um, one booth we wanted to make sure we hit this week today while we were here was Schaefer Manufacturing. Today I've got Paul Schaefer with me, and we're going to go over a couple new innovative products that Schaefer's got that redesigns the whole closing wheel setup. And basically, they got two products, the four-link closer and the walking axle. So we're going to see how that plays into effect in terms of emergence and then how that correlates to yield and return on investment. So we're re really excited to try these two new products out this year and we'll see what the results bring this spring and fall. We've, uh, for many, many years, uh, the major uh, uh, planter companies have put, um, they haven't changed their planter units from probably the early 70s. And my son has been farming for a number of years up and over terraces and through ditches and things out in the fields. And what we were finding was as the planter went over a terrace or through a dip, this row unit would um, flex up and down. There would be times when the tail section was carrying the total weight of the planter unit and it was causing uh, either the seed to be placed just on top of the ground or being placed maybe two, three inches deep and where everything else was maybe two inches deep throughout the field. So he designed this uh, walking beam uh, or the four link closer on these planters and it just leveled everything out so when you go across the terrace you don't find seeds exposed on top of the ground not covered up or planted three four inches deep and the concept behind it is what he did was put a parallel linkage back here he eliminated this parallel linkage up in front here. All it controls is your double disc openers as they go through the field. So you keep a more constant depth. The planter unit is running more level. It's not bouncing around. Then back here, he put the parallel linkage. So if you hit a rut ball or a rock or something in the field, it's not gonna bounce the rest of the planter unit up and down. So this is the regular tail section, like what comes on most planters. And they have four inches of travel up and down. So as they travel up and down, let's say they went through a dip. As that tail section comes all the way up, the wheels get further away from the seed trench. They don't close it properly. As it goes all the way down in that four inches of travel, it comes close to the seed trench, so it's not compact in good soil or taking all the air pockets in the seed trench out. So Paul, basically the unit makes the closing wheel tail totally independent of the rest of the row unit, which really lets that system act how it's supposed to and give you a lot more variation in terms of rough ground or uneven terrain or elevation change. So here in Ohio, um, where we farm at the London site, we have a little bit of roll, but not much. We're more a flatter elevation with not much change. Does this type of setup still have a place for that kind of farmer and that kind of market? Yes, I do, because uh, a lot of times, uh, a lot of the farmers, we're not like we were 40 years ago, tilled everything or plowed the ground and stuff. We're leaving a lot of residue on top of the ground or guys are no-tilling. And a lot of the corns that we're planting now are double, triple, quad stack type corns. And so they have a big root system, they have a big robust stock, and they cause problems when the planter is running through the field and it kicks one out here and it comes back and it hits the wheels on this and it pops the unit so you're gonna you're not gonna have good even depth placement.